group is hosting an open house for new recruits uh, interested in aviation for aerospace careers. Wing Commander Alan Sanchez is there to tell us more. Hi, good morning. Yes, well, how cool is that? You could be, you know, 12, 13, 14, 15 years old and start learning to become a pilot and also serving your community at the same time. We're here at the Modesto Airport. As you can see, there are planes ready to go. Some already went, and, and Major John, the one that we just saw right before we went to break, that was one of the planes that, that the kids can be part of. That's correct. It's a Cessna 206 out of our Merced squadron. And, and so what is the, the Civil Air Patrol? How would you explain that to someone? Well, it depends on their age group. If mm -hmm. your age is 12 to 18, I would say we have a good cadet program. Uh, we teach them leadership and aerospace education, physical fitness, good character development. They get an opportunity to explore some aerospace and aviation careers that may not have been available to them and do a lot of STEM work. We, we talked about it uh, over the phone. Uh, we're, I didn't realize there's kind of an emergency. Um, uh, we need pilots. Yeah, there's a 10,000 pilot shortage across the United wow. States. And that's not just the military, that's in commercial as well. So the Air Force has put a big priority into getting our cadets up in the air and getting them to learn how to be pilots since a lot of them do want to be pilots. And one of this young men right here, he's looking to be a pilot? Yeah, yeah, he joined our program a couple years ago. He found us from the flight school next door and he's been with us ever since and he's actually already got his private pilot license apart from being 17. 17 years old and you, so you've been behind the controls? Yes, sir. Your name, sir? Michael Zay. Why should someone try to uh, think, at least come out today to get information to be a part of this group? Uh, well, I believe that, especially through this program, you get exposed to all this, mm -hmm. um, all this experience such as aerospace, aviation, the STEM activities. Yeah. I believe every kid in America should be a part of oh, it. Yeah. The amount of leadership programs that are there is just remarkable. And you are very close to becoming your solo pilot. How is that going to work for you? Um, I've already done my solos. Okay. Yeah. And oh, wow. I've, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, Do you have your actual driver's license yet? Yeah, I actually started flying before I had my driver's license. So, yeah. <laughs> that is, is, is pretty cool. So today, uh, and Major, I'm going to bring you in real quick. Uh, what's going to happen at this uh, open house? What are people going to expect? Well, we want to expose them to our program mm -hmm. because a lot of people don't know what we're all about. We've been around since 1941, but uh, I hate to say it, we're the best kept secret of the United States Air Force. We, we perform missions for America doing uh, search and rescue. We do some uh, homeland security issues as well. But then we have our cadet program, which I think is really important because I, I did this as a kid and I've seen it affect me my entire life. Just the skills you learn in leadership. And now you get a chance to check it out. It's going to start off here in about an hour. Be a part of it. It's free and uh, maybe you get a chance to go up in one of these planes. I better be at attention as well. I will send it back to you. Thank you, Ellen. I'll hold this all day. <laughs> go. Looking good.